People sometimes ask me, why Elscove? Well, it's, it's pretty simple really. I think during the pandemic we learned that, that hygiene is is important and, and when you look at our customer base, you know, we're in food manufacturing, we're serving health institutions, uh, pathogen control, both chemical and, and thermal disinfection is critical. Even when you go out to dinner on a Saturday night, you want to know that the linens that are used to prepare your food are hygienically cleaned. elsco has been part of the Fabric of Australia since 1963 and services around 50,000 customers a month. Uh, we provide a wide range of services from textile rental, washroom services, servicing clean room garments, as well as supplying products and services to aged care from our ALS division. From a fleet logistics standpoint, sustainability means making sure that all of our vehicles have reduced CO2 emissions, making sure we're always looking into upcoming technologies to make sure that we are doing what we can from a sustainability point of view to, again, reduce CO2 emissions, be more environmentally friendly. And whether that comes in the form of battery operated vehicles, whether it's hybrid vehicles, really looking into all available technologies to make sure that we can reduce our footprint on the environment. The EV project came about uh, from our organisation in New Zealand who were basically the first ones to implement trucks and we saw what great success they had and as part of our sustainability goals we also wanted to have a look at how we could implement trucks and partnering with Sea Electric and Hino we have been able to put our first two trucks on the road in Melbourne and in Sydney. Welcome to the very first Alsco electric truck launch here at Alsco in Sydney. It's a bit of a milestone for our organisation because this is the first electric truck here in New South Wales. So why EVs? It really was about getting on that journey of, of using less fuel, less diesel, um, and, and basically using less resource. We've built on that in the last year or two in Australia and uh, it was fantastic to, to launch these two vehicles and uh, really exciting that the vehicle we launched in Melbourne will be drawing its power off our solar installation on the top of the roof in our Melbourne plant. Not only is it powering our new truck, it's also helping to power our plant as well. So the aim of bringing the two EVs into our fleet was to get a footprint in on these vehicles and see how they operate in comparison to internal combustion engines, see how much the reduction of fuel is, how much the reduction of CO2 is, and really use this as an example for the future as to how we can bring these vehicles in and how we can structure further ways to make our vehicles and our fleets and our route more efficient. Having the first electric truck now on the road, it's actually a feeling of relief. It's been a long 18 months. We certainly had challenges at getting it on the road, but I'm really pleased to see it drive out of the driveway and it's just one step closer to ALSCO achieving its 2030 goals. As my leadership has evolved over the years, some might say I've aged. I guess you could say my, my perspective has changed and the outcomes I seek when I lead a business uh, are quite different. The simple philosophy I like to follow is that, in general, if you just use less resource in your business and focus on using less resource, it's a great outcome. It's a great outcome for the people engaged in your business. It's a great outcome for the communities we all live and work in and it's a great outcome for the planet and the wider environment.